With the 12 model year Impreza, a newly developed transmission, the new Linertronic is introduced. This transmission replaces the former 4-speed automatic transmission. The new Linertronic of the Impreza uses two pulleys and a chain mechanism comparable to that of the legacy Linertronic, but the construction is simpler, with the benefits of 15% less weight and the overall length reduced by approximately 100 mm. This compact and light new CVT can be used for both the AWD and FWD model at the same time, and together with the FB engine, which assures sufficient torque at low speed, smooth acceleration and top class low fuel consumption levels could be realized. Like for the Legacy, a chain from the German supplier Luke is applied in the variator mechanism of the new Linertronic. Although many other companies adopt a bell type design, Subaru gives preference to a chain type layout. The main reason for that is that the chain design allows a smaller minimum running radius and as a consequence smaller pulleys and therefore a more compact design. Furthermore, slippage of the belt causes internal loss and diminishes the transmission efficiency, whereas the chain design guarantees a good transmission efficiency and excellent low fuel consumption performances. Compared to the legacy Leonetronic, the shape of the pulleys was changed and the center to center distance of the pulleys could be reduced by 10 mm. Thanks to these efforts, a more compact size was achieved. Because the chain pitch became smaller compared to the legacy, Due to further improvements, the operating noise of the chain could also be reduced remarkably. Compared to the legacy, the control valve body was moved from the bottom to the top of the transmission. Moreover, the forward reverse changeover mechanism is located before the primary pulley. For the four-wheel drive system, as for the legacy Linertronic, the ACT4 type was applied. In the new Linertronic, the following sensors are used. Turbine sensor, primary speed sensor, secondary speed sensor, secondary pressure sensor and inhibitor switch. Through these devices, the TCM obtains data about the actual driving conditions. In the new Linertronic, the following solenoid valves are mounted on the control valve body. FNR solenoid, secondary solenoid, lockup duty solenoid, primary up solenoid, primary down solenoid, and the AWD solenoid. Based on the signals from the TCM, the solenoid valves carry out the CVT control. One part of the models is equipped with manual mode. By sliding the shift lever horizontally from the D-range to the end position, six step manual gears with a fixed pulley ratio become available, allowing driving in the same way as using a manual transmission. Models without manual mode are equipped with L-range. By using the L range, it is possible to drive at higher RPMs than D range with an effective usage of the engine brake. In the new Linertronic, the control valve body is located on the upper side of the transmission. When replacing the control valve body, Attach the special tool cover to the vehicle and take the utmost care that no dust or dirt enters inside the transmission. The special tool cover is included in the spare part control valve body.
do not replace the control valve body without using the special tool cover. Like for the Legacy series, the CVTF inspection must be carried out with the engine running. First, confirm that the CVT temperature is within a range of 35 to 45 Celsius degrees by using the SSM3. Then shift once from the P position to the D position and then back to the P position again. Next, lift up the vehicle with the engine still running and then remove the fuel plug. If small amounts of oil start to flow out of the hole, the oil level is within the appropriate range. If no oil is coming out at all, new oil must be added little by little through the fuel plug. Under normal driving conditions, the CVTF of the new Linertronic is maintenance free. In case new CVTF must be added, only the officially recommended type must be used, as it is already the case for the Legacy series. The forward and reverse changeover mechanism in the new Linear Tronic adopts a different design compared to the Legacy series. A double pinion type planetary gear set is used. The torque from the engine is transferred through the torque converter and the input shaft and then enters into the sun gear, which is the input member. The output member is the planetary carrier from which the power is transferred to the primary pulley. During forward drive, the forward clutch is engaged and this connects the sun gear and planetary carrier. Therefore, the input and the output member can act as one unit. During reverse drive, the reverse brake is applied, which holds the internal gear stationary against the transmission case. Therefore, input and output member are turning in opposite direction. Because the input and output members are different compared to the legacy design, a high gear ratio for the reverse gear became possible, which assured good drivability in reverse drive even with small engines. The front differential gear oil inspection can be carried out with the engine turned off. First remove the overflow drain plug. Small amounts of gear oil up to 8 cc may flow out at this point, but as little amount of oil may have remained inside the duct and does not indicate a sufficient oil level. Therefore, it is absolutely indispensable to add gear oil from the filler plug until it starts to flow out of the overflow drain plug to assure that the appropriate gear oil level is achieved. With the CVT, steepless gear shift is possible by changing the groove width of the primary and secondary pulley. At start off, the groove width of the primary pulley is wide and the one of the secondary pulley is narrow. The gear ratio for these pulleys reaches a value of approximately 2.5 under load speed conditions. As the speed increases, a smaller gear ratio is applied. Therefore, at high speed, the groove width of the primary pulley is narrow and that of the secondary pulley is wide. The gear ratio for these pulleys reaches approximately 0.4 under high speed conditions. The secondary pulley has mainly the task 
to assure sufficient clamping force for the chain. The secondary pressure is applied to this pulley. The primary pulley, on the other hand, has mainly the task to set the pulley width, which corresponds to the actual vehicle speed. The primary pressure is applied to this pulley. The torque enters from the engine through the torque converter directly into the forward and reverse changeover mechanism, where the rotation direction changes according to the selection of the drive direction. The gear ratio is set at the variator mechanism consisting of a primary pulley, a secondary pulley and a chain. Depending on the drive conditions, the pulley width changes to achieve a suitable gear ratio. Through gear reduction, the torque is transferred to the front differential. In the four-wheel drive system, the torque is additionally transmitted from the transfer gear to the transfer system and the propeller shaft. The new Linertronic is equipped with a secondary oil pressure sensor. Therefore, it is possible to read out the secondary pressure value through the SSM3. But in case of malfunctions like slipping clutches, it is necessary to confirm the actual secondary pressure through manual measurements using the pressure gauge, even if the sensor seems to work properly. For the measurement, use this special tool and O-ring. Lift up the vehicle and remove the secondary pressure test plug. Quickly attach the pressure gauge adapter and pressure gauge. Also connect the SSM3 and then measure the secondary pressure. Carry out the stall test within 5 seconds and allow the engine to cool down in P-range or N-range under idling conditions for at least 1 minute. Don't turn the engine off to make it cool down properly. In AWD models, the transfer pressure should be verified if tight cornering phenomena occur. Use this special tool for measurements. To attach the oil pressure gauge, it is necessary to lift up the vehicle and to remove the exhaust pipe and the cross member. Then remove the transfer clutch pressure test plug and attach the oil pressure gauge. Also measure the transfer clutch pressure using the SSM3. If it is necessary, switch to the FWD mode in the same way of the legacy CVT by using the SSM3.